one of President Emerson Mnangagwa's diplomates in Israel has been sucked in the prophetic healing and deliverance ministry's PhD church leader Prophet Walter Magea's $3 million US dollar fraud case where the controversial preacher allegedly duped a group of Israeli businessmen. The matter is before the High Court of Zimbabwe under case no. HCH 621-23. The fraud victims in this case, the Israelis, are represented by Doug Chanawa of Chanawa Law Chambers Investments and Commercial Law. Magea allegedly received the amount through Ronnie Levi Musin, the Consul General of Zimbabwe in Israel, appointed by President Emerson Mnangagwa. Musin expressed shock at the scam although he says he still maintains confidence in President Mnangagwa and in Zimbabwe as a safe investment destination. The agreement between Magea and a group of Israeli partners which was chaired by Musin was signed on May 12, 2022 in the presence of their Israeli lawyer Akiva Rosner and Everson Kadambudza of Verbaya Kadambudza Legal Practitioners who is Magea's lawyer. The businessman said in a statement released to the Mirror that it was unheard of in Israel that a man of God could swindle people in the name of God. They also complained against swindlers using pictures taken with President Umningagwa to deceive investors. We hope that we will get justice in the courts in Zimbabwe, justice that will give other foreign investor confidence that their money is safe and justice that will act as deterrence to would-be swindlers. If we do not receive justice, we have all the power and financial capability to sue Megea in international courts. We will not give up on our honor and on our money in any way. Read the statement released by lawyer Rosner in Israel. Magea allegedly received $3 million US dollars to start a joint venture gold mining project with the Israelis in Zimbabwe. He, however, disappeared immediately after receiving the money and did not fulfill any of the contractual obligations agreed upon. It is alleged that no major mining activity has started at the mine and no operating permits have been obtained. The statement said apart from taking Magea to court, they now want him arrested. Megea is lying to investors hiding behind the president's pictures. It's time for people to realize that not everyone who takes a picture with the president has the integrity of the president. We love the president, respect and appreciate him, said the statement. This is not the first time that investors with close links to ZANU PF or President Mnangagwa had duped international investors. Two years ago, Botswana-based investors were sent from pillar to post after Rajim Kasim of Bradfix Incorporated Private LTD in Masvingo allegedly duped them of 795,000 US dollars. They tried every police station, every court and every lawyer but the intrinsic network of the swindlers appeared too complicated for them to unravel. The investors made an urgent chamber application under case number HC 39-21 seeking interim relief for all mining operations at Golden Hill Mine Masheva to be suspended, barred or prohibited. The applicants had turned a once dormant mine into a thriving business enterprise and injected 795,000 US dollars into the said mining project. The matter was heard by Justice Neville Wamambo who removed it from the role on April 23, 2021 on the basis that it was not urgent. It is understood that the frustrated investors left the country and never came back. The Isarala statement said that the investors were exposed to Zimbabwe though the excellent work of Musin. They said without him they would never have set foot in Zimbabwe. Megea entered the picture following his many years of acquaintance with the ambassador. He introduced us to his church, his hotel and his plan to develop a gold mine with a community participation program. He used his connection to the ambassador to get money from us. Without the ambassador, he would not have got a cent from us. Read the statement. The statement further alleges that Magea tried to give 500,000 US dollars of the amount to the ambassador who refused it. The ambassador allegedly informed the investors about the unusual offer. According to the agreement, Megea was going to hold 57% shares and the Israelis 43% with a personal guarantee of Megea on the principal investment that all the funds would be used to develop the mine. The statement said Megea unashamedly used his church, God's name, and the trust that the ambassador had in him to swindle the investors of their money. It turns out to us that there are people who use God's house and name for greed and fraud and they still dare to call themselves God's people. Read the statement. 
According to the agreement, Megea was supposed to use his properties including a hotel and waterfalls as security, but the stories changed after he received the money. He did not even comply with the terms for the transfer of the mine's proprietary rights, alleges the statement. As soon as he got what he want, 